Hey, what's up? This is Cyrus. And this is Ian. We're in Newfound Glory, and you're listening to Morgan Richards on Radio Cardiff. Bong, bong, bong. Hey, I'm Morgan Richards from Radio Cardiff from 98.7 FM, and I'm very pleased to say that I'm backstage at Reading Festival 2015. I'm joined by a band I can only describe as a true old school pop punk royalty. As of course, those selfless, catalyst, and vicious love masters from Florida, it's the wonderful Newfound Glory. How are you doing? Hey guys, you alright? Yeah, everything's good. Uh, weather's kind of good, which is surprising for Reading. Yeah, at least for now. Uh, it's getting a little dark, but yeah, it's good. So you're enjoying your release festival weekend so far? Yeah, of course. Uh, so far, yeah. yeah, it's first day. We just got here like most everybody else this morning, and uh, we got a little while to play. We play later tonight, but no, it's good. It's it's great to play these festivals. We played, I think, I was saying, this is our fifth time, I think now, I think being so. on the festivals. So it's great to be back. So guys, of course, over the last year, you guys have been extremely busy since the recent, the recent record Reservation had some great response from that. But for me, there really seems to be this extra sense of enjoyment and happiness from this album cycle, with all you being very proud of this material. It's really shown that in the recording, some of your promo and even the recent live performances. Yeah, for sure. I think right now we're closer as a band than we've ever been. Um, it's four of us now. We had five members and we went down a member right before Resurrection. So, you know, there was a lot for us to go through and I think a lot of people would expect us to kind of throw in the towel and, and give up. But, you know, we wanted to make sure to show the world that we love what we do and we're going to persevere through anything. And I think that did bring us together closer. And so I, I feel like we appreciate things even more now. We're even happier now to be on the road. And, and, you know, I think we're very proud of the way that record came out and still loving playing shows. It just uh, it sparked like a new excitement, I think. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of like where the title Resurrection came from. It just kind of feels like just kind of starting over. You know what I mean? Everything is exciting again. I think it's uh, when you have a bunch of, when you have a group together, there's always a little bit of conflict. You lessen one member and the conflict lessens. So I think like, you know, everyone's just a lot happier now. Everything seems like a lot easier. So with everything that went on, do you think it just really helped you guys try and make this the best record you can? Because you guys have said in the past this was really a quick one writing together and just built naturally. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, it just made us kind of focus on what, what we do and what we do best. And then as far as the, the like lyrical content of the record, you know, we've always been a band to try to write songs that are kind of close to us and, and things that we're going through. And obviously we went through a lot uh, leading up to the writing of this record, so it kind of made it pretty easy. And if you look at a lot of the songs on this record, they are very reflective of what we were going through at the time. A lot of topics that, uh, as opposed to just thinking about maybe relationships and stuff that we had talked about in the past, it got into like, you know, uh, what we're really doing with our lives and, and, you know, really like looking into why we're, why we're here. So I think that's a... Uh, you know, a big reason why it was like you say it was easy it was easy to write and it was uh it was a fun record to do and, and it was fast like you said and of course just recently you guys put out an extended deluxe version of the album that features a brand new track titled vicious love featuring chad's wonderful fiance Haley williams of paramore after the two of you fans have known each other for so long and always supported each other's music it must have been so nice to finally collaborate together this new track it actually didn't really start out that way at first we um we had just discussed getting like a female to uh to sing on vicious love and i i was talking to chad and i'm like i'm like hey maybe we can get casey musgraves because i like country music a lot and i know that Haley knows casey so i was like maybe you can like go talk to Haley and see if she could talk to casey and maybe we can get her to like sing on the track um and then when Chad went to talk to Haley about it, she was like, well, well I want to sing on it. <laughs> and he's like, but he's like, oh, I don't know. I don't want to like ask you to sing on the track. You know, I was just asking you to ask Casey because that's who, you know, kind of Ian wanted to ask. And he's, she's like, well, ask the guys if I could do it. So he came back and he's like, I went to ask Haley if she would ask Casey for you. And then she said she wanted to sing on the track. And I'm like, we were all just like, yeah, I mean, it kind of makes total sense. You, know you I mean? kind of don't say no when, when, you know, somebody like that pretty much offers and or tells you that they're going to do it. Of you course. Know, yeah, so we're like, awesome. yeah, that would be awesome. You know, we didn't even, we didn't really think like, because it's Chad's fiance, we're, we wouldn't ever be like, oh, ask Haley like to sing on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when she asked us to do it, we're like, that's pretty cool. You know, yeah. she's, we knew she was going to kill it because she wanted to be on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're like, yeah, let's, let's do it. So okay. that's kind of how that came about. But really, fans of both you guys and Paramore have always mentioned uh, you guys could do a collaboration in the 
future. So to finally have this out there for the fans must just be a nice feeling on top of that as well. Oh, it's really great. I mean, we, we did a video. She was in the video. The video's gotten an amazing response so far on YouTube. Um, we're playing the song live and it's great because, you know, kids do react to that song and whether it's because of us, her or both, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, it's good to know that uh, there could be new crowds that get into us just because of this. And obviously Haley is a fan of us and, you know, we love her and she's done some amazing things. We've shared the stage with them and she's been very, you know, nice to us and, and good to us. Um, so it's, it's awesome. It's a total like organic mix, if you want to say. And uh, one thing I really want to mention to you guys is, is that now you've been a band for over the last 15 years. You're now considered one of the last remaining and influential pioneers from that old school pop punk area. But with New Found Glory, it's really noticeable how much of an effect on young bands you had with them growing up, with the likes of The Story So Far, All Time Low, and more naming themselves after your songs. Looking at that now, is that just really touching to see the effect that you've had throughout the years? Yeah, of course. I mean, when we started, it's that's not something you really think about. But, uh, and Ian said this a whole bunch before in interviews, is, uh, you know, obviously when we started, we had bands that we looked up to. Um, some of them are still around, you know, bands like Green Day and uh, even like Blink or uh, Pennywise, uh, Less Than Jake. You know, these are all bands that we were watching and we were seeing them on stage saying, oh, I hope one day that we can still do that. Uh, it is amazing to see bands like that continue. But then now for us to kind of be that band where there are bands that come to us and say we wouldn't be a band if it wasn't for you. Obviously bands like All Time Low and Story so far really wouldn't. Um, it's very flattering, but it's also, this is the way music works. And this is amazing because this is how our scene survives. You know, give it maybe five years or so in the All Time Lows and the Story so far, there's gonna be bands that talk about they're not a band if it wasn't for them. And it's just, it's really neat. Like I said, it's not something that you, you don't expect that to happen or really that's not the reason why you do this. You do this because you love it, but it's really probably one of the most flattering and honoring, like, honoring things that can happen to you as, as a band. And uh, with Resurrection being out originally over a, almost a year ago now, have you guys started maybe thinking about the next full-length studio album or anything like that? We actually, we just started talking about that. We, um, we haven't started writing for it yet, and we haven't figured out exactly when we're gonna go in and record. You know, we still have a little bit more touring left to do on this record, but it's definitely something that we just started to talk about. Okay. So we're going to figure it out at some point, but we haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. 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 Right okay. now, the game plan is just to get through the rest of this year. We do uh, like October, November, we're doing a co-headlining tour at Yellow Card in, in the States. So once we get through that, then I think uh, when we have all for December. That's probably when we're going to start brainstorming and figuring out what the uh, what the next step yeah. is. And just one more very quick question, guys, before you go. Uh, of course, I know, as I mentioned, you guys are really proud of the latest material released. But something that's been really popular over the years is that bands are visiting some of their early materials to tour intensely and in full. I know you guys have done Sticks and, and Stones over the last couple of years, but have you ever thought about maybe revisiting some of the other older albums for one off show? Yeah, we always kind of talk about that, and I think there's a time and place for it. Um, in the States, we've done it a little more than over here, but even, you know, the last time we were on Reading, it, it was Sticks and Stones playing it. I, I love... It's funny because we didn't even get to play it in full because they said they told us Reading's like oh yeah it'd be great for you to do that record and then the set time they give us is shorter than the record so how does that work um, but no yeah obviously we have other records that we've released since then and uh, it would be really nice to do that but you know I think you save those for special times so if you have other tours planned with bands you just kind of do them normally and maybe when you have free time is when you think about hey we should take this one record or two records or there's bands like Alkaline Trio that do a couple nights in a row and over the couple nights they do five six records so who knows it's it's always out there we're always putting out new, new music so it gives us the opportunity to do that down the road as well yeah I think it's just uh, it's just a matter of the uh, the demand to be there for that you know what I mean if people want it cool enough I mean I'd love to even do like nothing gold could stay you know what I mean our first full length um, but it's just a matter of having a demand for it and the right place and the right time and it's gotta like it's gotta feel right for all four of the band members together in order for you know you don't want one band member saying like oh i think this would be cool and then three like i don't know and then doing it and not having all the feeling there you know okay. what i mean so it's just a matter of you know all four of us wanting it the fans wanting it and it just being the right place at the right time and depending upon the record, us practicing a little bit so we remember some of the songs. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Well, uh, that's about it. Um, cheers, guys, for taking time out to have a quick yeah, time. No worries. Uh, best of luck now with everything else in the near future, and hopefully, I can catch up with you guys again very soon. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Cheers.